Hi everybody, Rock Dude here. Today's topic we're going to talk about, let me get one here, 8-track tapes. Now in the 70s when I grew up, there were different vehicles how you could listen to your music. Uh, if you were a little more wealthier, you could have a, you know, reel-to-reel, uh, expensive amp and turntable, or what they call an audio file system. Go in your local department store and buy a $50 um, what they call a portable photograph, or you could play uh, eight-track tapes. Um, what my mom used to do is uh, just to save some money. Would uh, in most of these uh, magazines or the TV guide um, was an insert uh, for Columbia House, and uh, they would send you, I believe it was twelve eight tracks uh, for a dollar. And then you just had to buy a couple more down the road at regular prices, how that all worked out. So, yeah, so uh, being a blue collar person, 12 years old, you know, I wanted that audio file system, but uh, that had to wait. But with all that said, there were some con iconic uh, TV shows back in the day, um, the Jeffersons and Good Times, which were um, mostly are all Afro-American uh, cast members and... Uh, Good Times is related to the 8-track thing here because J.J. Walker, comedian slash actor, um, was the spokesman for the uh, Panasonic 8-track portable 8-track player, which was called the Dynamite Player, which looks like this. Actually looks like a detonator, and you could switch the tracks by pushing down the plunger and four tracks, and maybe there was uh, three or four songs on a, on a track. And the weird thing about it was sometimes they would be recorded, the song would actually end on, on a track and then start up on the next track. Weird, but true. So, yeah, J.J. Walker, um, you can go on YouTube and actually um, find the old video. He's sitting on a pair of steps in front of a row home, and he's uh, advertising the Panasonic 8-track uh, player. Um, and, of course, he says, Dynamite. Like you know, he did from the TV show, which he was always known for, and uh, that's what people liked about one of the things they liked and or remembered about JJ was uh, he was Kid Dynamite slash the Dynamite uh, slogan. So um, that was one, and then there was a, a sister unit called the Dynamite uh, Cassette Player. It was you know not very loud; it was just mostly an early voice recorder, but you could play cassette tapes in it. So it's very cool if you have. Uh, one of each. Um, mine work well and the batteries work. So, yeah, so it's very cool to plug my 8 track player in and just to show people as a novelty. And it came in different colors. It came in, you know, red as you saw and the uh, uh, white, blue, and then eventually some of the uh, other brands like Sanyo and stuff started making them in like a round ball and all kind of funky designs. So, um, when you collect them, that's a nice one to get. That's the Panasonic uh, Dynamite. Thing was, you knew when the eight tracks were going to wear out. They started to slur, but you just loved that tracks eight tracks so much. Um, before you want to run out and buy a replacement or just stop using it, um, it would jam up. And it was the classic. You'd be pulling it like this, and you'd be pulling pulling the uh, tape with it. So. Um, yeah, a lot of us uh, jammed up our 8-tracks. That was just the way it went. And like I say, they would start to slur, and you would know it, but we loved our 8-tracks, so we just went through that, having to pull it out of the wheels. So, um, like, for example, this one here is Rex Smith. If anybody can remember, was he the guy that was in the, uh, who hosted the uh, Solid Gold? Um, I believe he just might have been. But, yeah, the pretty boy, um, popular, uh, he went into TV too, so he was a singer, TV star, so or a celebrity, like you would say. And he had the top ten hit, which is on this one here. Um, you take my breath away, which which is a top forty hit, nice hit for uh, Rex Smith. Um, so I I covered a whole gamut, you know, Alba, uh, huge in the seventies, um, Captain Tennille, which were popular, Dal Dragon, who. Uh, uh, really nice uh, keyboard musician who him and his wife had the TV show and the Bulldogs and you know uh, very popular during the mid 70s uh, Love Will Keep Us Together was uh, 
uh, hit that we would remember. Um, Tommy James and Sean Dell's late 60s, early 70s, uh, Moni Moni, Crimson and Clover, all kinds of hits. Uh, one of the quintessential uh, hippie musicians. So, so yeah, so people had uh, vinyls, cassettes, eight tracks, uh, uh, things like that. So, uh, two thumbs up to J.J. Walker, eight tracks, and uh, I love you, two and two. We'll see you next time. Thanks, man.